For the first time, the Kissimmee police chief opens up about one of his darkest days on the force. The night in August when Sergeant Sam Howard and Officer Matthew Baxter were gunned down in the street by accused killer Everett Miller. News 6 Morning anchor Justin Wormuth sat down with Chief Jeff O'Dell. There was a sense of panic, uh, disbelief that this is actually going on and uh, complete, you know, heartache. What were you doing on August 18th when you got the call? I was actually out to dinner with my family and um, uh, got a call from Deputy Chief Lewis and, uh, you know, didn't know the full condition of the officers, but that we had two officers shot and it was very serious and they were critical. Do you relive that moment when you get the call? Do you think about that often? I do and uh, it's, uh, I still go through it when I get the call, you know, when I get a phone call from uh, either the deputy chief or one of the captains, especially after hours. It just, uh, you know, unfortunately takes me back to that night. It breaks my heart to have to come speak to you tonight about another senseless tragedy. By the next morning, the news most were expecting. The force of a little more than 100 officers had lost not one, but two. Officer Matthew Baxter and Sergeant Sam Howard. Did you ever think about how you would react if you were in that situation as a chief of police? Probably not to the extent I should have. You know, you think about it and, you know, I think maybe I was naive to say, not, not in our community, it's, it's not going to happen. But even though we train for it and we talk about it, and we, we preach safety constantly, you know, I just don't know that I ever expected it here. Six days later, a show of professionalism. Two fathers, husbands, heroes honored side by side. A day Chief Odell says began the healing process for many. It's tough. I mean, they, they really had to dig deep down inside and, and kind of go back to the whole reason they got into this job. It was a calling for them. And, and you know, uh, I've talked about we don't get the luxury of closing the business and saying let, let everybody go home for, for a week and heal and come back. We have to keep going. Which they've done, including putting together the case against accused killer Everett Miller. The chief said he's confident justice will be served. However, he is anxious about one thing. I would venture to guess it were a year to two years probably before this goes to trial and and that'll be another hurdle for the agency because in and the families in the community because certainly we will we have have to relive this again and uh, and I'm not sure what that will bring um, but uh, we'll be ready. That was Justin Wormuth with that report. Now, since the murders, the chief has put into place new protocol for when officers respond to neighborhoods with high drug activity. The chief says anytime there's a call, extra personnel will be dispatched.